Okay, let's pray first. Dear God, we humble ourselves before you, God, because without you, we are nothing, Lord. And we are totally dependent on your strength, on your power, and your wisdom, O oh God. Lord, you are our everything. And we just pray, Father God, that you bless your word, Father God, as you speak to your people. You speak to us, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so the title of my sermon today is about the seekers. Okay, kabalo mo kung kinsa na naadi ha? Okay, ano si tawag nato sa ilaha gani? Anong tawag natin? Yung mga nakasakay sa camel? Ah, okay, the magi, the magi, the mago. Okay, so let's define what is seeking first. Okay, let's define it. And it says there, okay, grabe ni akong anak mag-type, oy. A gerund or present participle, okay, seeking, attempt to find something. They came here to seek shelter from biting winter winds. Ay, lalong ba anis? Okay, attempt to desire or desire to obtain or achieve something. The new regime sought his extraction or extradition. Asked for something from someone. He sought help from the police. So seeking or looking for help. So lalumpan na siya sa looking. And sometimes, it's so weird ang Pilipino. Pag ang Pilipino mangutana gani sa ilang mga anak, layo kayo ang tubag. Pananglitan. O sa ginapangita ni Munak, Nak, asa man ka mo adto? Oh, sabay sa uso, no? Okay? Uh, Nak, anong hinahanap mo? Wala po. Ah, pwede din magkita ng wala. Right? Okay. O sa inig pangutana, nak, gabi naman, gabi naman, asa ka mo adto? Tubag sa anak, mubalik dahil kuma. Oh, layo kayong tubag, no? Asa ka mo adto, ang tubag, mubalik dahil kuma. Diba? O, oh, sa so may ginapangita ni mo diha, tuwa na, ginapangita na niya ang bagi, gunita na sa nanay. Right? Mama na iyang, iyang, o sa so may original nga story, ani? O, oh, millennials, anong original nga story nito? Dami na, no? Dami nang pumasok. Okay, so naisip ko, okay, nakagawa tayo ng ganito para sabay ko sa uso. Okay, so, they were looking for something. Okay, the seekers, the magi. Let's open our Bibles or we can just read it on the screen with me. Okay, in Matthew 2, verses 1 to 18. Okay, the visit of the magi. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod, the king, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for this is what has been written for by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah. For out of you shall come forth a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country. Okay. And so, the Magi, what are their professions? So the Magi, saan sila galing? Saan sila na tribe kaya galing? The Magi. Remember, they came from East. Pero anong klaseng mga tao ang nasa East? According to what I've, I've, I've researched, they are from Syria or maybe from the tribe of uh, Iran, Iraq, uh, uh, Yemen, or, or Saudi Arabia. So, what did you see in the sky? Star. Okay? 
And it doesn't mean kung ang star ilan nakita mo na ilang pag, uh, pag analyze that a savior is born. Okay, ano kayang trabaho nila? According to others, sila ay ano sila? King? Hindi sila kings, right? As astrologers? No. Okay, according to what I've researched again, that they, they belong to a tribe who practice a Zoroastrian, also a Zoroastrian priest or missionary sila. They traveled. And it doesn't mean, okay, na uh, uh, they, they studied with stars, they are astrologers. No, it's not. Okay? So, how long, according to this story, how long did they travel? Okay. So, they were walking on the desert. So, ang atong tradition, they are three, there were three kings, right? May mga pangalans pa nga, no? Okay, sige daw, name, name the three names. Oh, Melchor, parang hindi tagais ang pangalan. Ano pa? Oh, Gaspar, si Kinsa Pagyud. Oh, Baltazar. Okay, layo, no? Parang hindi mga Eastern ang mga pangalan. Parang mga Spanish, right? And so, they came to seek the Lord Jesus. They traveled for long. How old was Jesus when they found Jesus? Okay, raise your hand. How old was Jesus? Huh? How old was Jesus? So that's the time a child was born. Nung nakita nilang star. When they arrived, ang sabi dito sa Bible, anong sabi dyan? Coming to their house, hindi na barn. Lumipat na po sila. Okay. Dahil matagal na po na panahon yun. Hindi nyo alam kung anong, anong, anong age na Jesus? Ah, oh, two years old na si Jesus that time. So yung mga picture na uh, the three wise men nasa bilin, baby Jesus, mali yun. Okay? Because they already transferred to a house. And ang sabi nga dito, when Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, sa verse 16, he was furious and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Tama? So two years old, hindi na baby si Jesus when, when they found. But they were trying to seek, oh, two years? Wow! Hindi po sila nakakotse, nakakamel po sila. Right? Okay? So it doesn't mean that Merong tatlong gift, tatlo lang po yung tao. Kasi they were rich actually daw, sabi nila. Okay? Kasi may dala sila ng gold. Eh, sa, sa, sa desert yan, may mga tulisan. Uh, may mga bandits. Okay? So, they, they, can, be, they can be robbed by... by eh, kasi maraming robbers dun sa, sa desert. Okay? So, may mga backup, may mga bodyguards po sila. Now, let's go to the, the story of the parable of the lost coin. Now, I'm gonna say this story twice. Maybe some of you can memorize it and stand up here. This is a different kind of, of sermon, okay? If you can stand up and repeat what I was saying. Okay? There you go. So, suppose a woman, the parable of 10 coins, a lost coin. Suppose a woman who has 10 silver coins and lost one okay lost one does she does she need to light a lamp and sweep the house and search carefully for the lost coin to find it and if he finds it she calls her friends and neighbors together saying celebrate with me I have found my lost coin. Same, same thing, okay? Same thing in the kingdom of God. Okay? There will be rejoicing over one sinner who turned from their sins. Right? Okay. Hindi kasali yun. Okay? Yun lang sa story sa girl, sa lady. Okay? Suppose... A woman who has 10 silver coins and lost one, does she need to light a lamp and sweep the house and search it carefully to find that lost coin? 
And if he, she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and say, Rejoice with me, for I have found my lost coin. Uh, kinsa may maka, maka, maka sulti ana dire. It's called orality. It's good for evangelism. Any tribe, you can use this. So this story is all about, and this story is all about the, the ten coins? No, the lost coin. Okay, so what did you learn about the lost coin? Seeking. Oh, okay. So, may effort ba wala? Oy, meron. Kasi parang gabi yun. So, she needs to light a lamp and sweep. Kasi pinsan yung coin pag nahulog, mag-roll. Oh, musuksuk sa ilalom. And you cannot use your hand just to reach it. Right? Basik ilaga or ok ok pa yung magunitan dito sa ilalom. Right? So, she used the broom. Okay? And it says there, she found it. Okay, she found the lost coin. Okay. So, seeking needs an effort na kailangan. Kung pwede lang, kung, kung, sabi, kung pwede di eh, bakit anong kaimportante ng isang coin na yun? Pwede naman siya palitan, no? Pero baka naka-wielding. But the story here is about, kasi head, ano yan eh, headdress yan ng mga virgins. Ginagawa nilang dory pag sila ay mag-aasawa. So, mga girls ang nagbibigay ng dowry sa lalaki. So, pag nawala yung isa, ibig sabihin, hindi ka na virgin and you will be stoned to death. That's how important the coin was at that time. So, babatuhin ka until you die. Right? So, hindi pwedeng paano niya i-wielding? Okay, hanap. Kasi para siguro may partner niya na ito talaga ang mga coins na yan. Right? So it's very, very important to her to find, to really find that lost coin. Okay. May, maka, may maka-relate sa story? So what did you learn? You have to seek it hard. No? Hanapin mo talaga kung pwede ibalibag ni mo ni Asa naman itong passport. Hindi, ugba na kumubiyahi. Wala ang passport ni mo. Right? You, you need help from others. Oy, tanan ni mong mga neighbors. Tabangi ko pali hukugma na kung biyahe wala kong passport. Lala na ako ni. You really need to find. Ibalig-balibag ni mutanan. Asa naman ka. Pero sometimes ka nang ginapangita na ito, no? di makita. Kaya hindi na ako makita. Nara permente diha. Di na ito pangitaon. Ambot lang nga, no? Bakit kaya? Right? Okay? So what did you learn? You have to really exert an effort to find that lost coin. And what God is telling you about this? What God is telling you? The importance of this thing in your life. Right? Anong mga importante sa buhay niyo? Everybody here is a seeker, right? You're seeking for a job. Okay, si, si ano, nag-graduate ng college, uh, criminology. Yeah, so, nag-seek siya. Somebody to pray that, that he will pass the, the board exam. What are you seeking in this world? So many people are seeking for something that maybe, ano kaya? will make me happy. No? But, if you, if you, if you, read yung mga testimony sa mga sa mga sa Facebook yung mga very rich and then naging philanthropist sila because they already have everything and found out that it is not the way that you become happy again i always use this illustration when when uh, Elvis Presley said all i wanted in this life is to have one Cadillac isa lang daw but now dahil sumikat na siya I have a fleet of it. O saan ang fleet? O saan ginasod lang sa bro, sa fleet? Mga aeroplano. O. Oh. Said. But now, I have a fleet of it and it is nothing. Diba? It is nothing. Same thing, you desire the cell phone. 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. After that, after a week, di naman ka, pasagdan lang ni Moscosina. Mabili na lang ni mo. Si Jim Carrey, yung famous na 
na comedian said, let them be rich, let them be famous, let them, let them have what they want, so that in the end, they will know that it is not the answer. When I got born again, siguro a year, na may, na may gamay nga, poster sa balay, I really remember it. Isaiah 55, 6, it says there, Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is still near. So I was thinking, what happened during the Ark of Noah? They were laughing. There was this invitation to come. There was this warning to stop sinning and come. Did they listen? No. So what happened when God closes the door for them? They were shouting and shouting, pero God didn't listen to them. How about the dark age? You know about the story? Story ng, ng dark age or, or uh, medieval age or uh, middle age? Do you know that mga Vikings? Walay, pag, if you're a Christian, you're a heretic na sunugun ka. Some people, pag may, pag may plagues, they were shouting, where is God? Man ang sabi nila, the silent years, they, they, they can't hear God. But we are also in the modern dark age also. So we experience, just like Pastor Dave said, if you go on missions, you're alone, walang mall, Wala kay masuruyan sa sulo, puros kalubian. Oh. Okay? So, you feel that you're so close to God. You can commune to God any, anytime. Pero pagbalik o siyudad, uy, mall naman yung makita. Makita na muni mo. Tanang brand sa mall. How I wish I'll have that. Magmukha akong Korean. <laughs> no? We, we can think, based on my experience, Okay? We can think about the people suffering. Nga, mga matay na lang sila kay walay, walay, walay medicine nga ilang madawat. Walay, wala maka-eskwela. So when I come back here, pag ato, kung pwede lang, dili kung muad to ug mall. Kay bisag, unsa na ako makita, ay Lord, gusto na ko ana, gusto na ko ana. Pero sa mga bukid, gusto nila makakaon lang sila. Gusto sila nga maka, maka-eskwela lang. Right? If you if you go to missions, you will you will realize I am so blessed. All believers. Are we believers? Seek the Lord while he may be found. Time will come. Well, history repeats itself. Tama ba? The martyrdom, the persecution, mubalik na siya. And we are in the last days. We are in the last days. I would always encourage, hindi, ginat, I'm not putting fear sa aking mga anak, but encourage them that this is what is gonna happen in the last days. Mas lisud, ang nagmagdus, ang buntis, may mga babies. Why? Okay? Because you can't, you can't handle to see your child being killed by these guys. Okay, so may pili ni mo, your faith or your, your child. As a mother, you to get as a child. Now, if a Christian doesn't have the word of God in his heart also or her heart, pag abut sa persecution, wa siya'y bersikulo nga ipa, it carries sa iyong kagalingon, arun dili siya mag-backslide, arun dili siya ma-fall. May tawag sa, sa last days, may mga falling away apostasy, mutalikod sa ilahang pagtuo kang Jesus. Nga naman, wa may pulong sa ginoo. O, pananglitan. Ako, gimimurais ko na ako ni. Matthew 10, 28. Do not be afraid of those who can kill the body only, but be afraid of those who can kill, of the one who can kill both body and soul. They can kill my body, but not my soul. I'll be scared, more scared kay God who can kill both body and soul and bring my soul to hell. Right? So in times of troubles, okay, do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in me. 
Okay, believe in God, believe also in me. So, so many verses in the Bible that can encourage you in times you're in trouble. Sabi ng Pastor Mel Nawali, we can, we can run, but we cannot hide because of that technology. So persecution will come. So sometimes, dili ko gusto magbasa sa feed sa Facebook, but it's, it's real, it's true, it's, it's happening. No? It's happening. So, kung wala tayo pagkaon, wala food, your, your children are starving, you will not receive the mark? Huh? As a parent, you can't dare to see your kids suffering. So sometimes, I will always tell my kids, okay, this is what you're gonna do, okay? No more running, okay? You just tire yourself. Kapoyin lang nimo imong kagaling, dagan-dagan, tago-tago ka. Okay? Just, death is the final victory. Right? Okay. So I still ask many people, they're, 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 they're scared to die. Okay. So, I have this video, pero dili ma-download. I really love it. Okay. So, may mga tao, may nakita sila sa tulay, pair of sandals o kalo. Anong naaman diri? So, pag, pag tingin nila sa baba, lapok ba, lapok. So, nai lalaki dito nga, kamang-kamang, di mapulalom. Dili mapud siya, uh, quick sand. Okay? So, sige siya, sige siya salom dito sa lapok. Ana, and then, they throw some rope sa kanya, pero gi-ignore gihapon niya. Until nga, murag na siya nakuha, may nakuha siya, sa kanya kinuha yung, yung tali, and then, he was rescued up sa bridge. And then he was asked, what is he doing there? What are you doing in the mud? Actually, may hinahanap siya. My wife died a while ago. And she gave me this thing so that I can continue working, living. So I tried my best to really find it. Lapad gutong alapok, mud. She was crawling there and grabbing, looking for something. You know what was the gift? It's just a tape measure. Kamananahi man siya. The gift that the wife gave him. He was searching all over the mud. Nagakamang siya. This is what supposed, what supposed to be the Christian should do. Are we seeking God? Are we seeking what God wants us to do for Him. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is still near. The third one, serve Him with all your heart. Serve Him. Serve Him. So it is my encouragement to all who are here. The wise men seek the Lord for two years. Until today, wise men still seek for the Savior. Are you a wise man? Seeking for the truth, seeking for the things that are heavenly, that can give us the best thing for our life? Some people are wasting their time, their money on something that's not heavenly. Right? Everyone seeks and everyone calls unto him, but few serve. Again, the wise men were seeking for the Savior, and wise men today are still seeking for the Savior also. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that you use this wise man to be an example for us, O oh God, to really seek you deeper and deeper into our hearts. Seeking you, Lord, with all our heart. Thank you, Father God, that we're, we still have time. Help us, Lord, not to waste our, our time in seeking for something that, that's not real, that doesn't give happiness, Lord. All the people in this world are, are seeking fame, greatness, 
They're seeking for fortune, Lord. They're seeking for attention. They're seeking, Lord, of things you said, I'm, I should be greater or better than you. I should look good than you. While seeking, Lord, for the things that are eternal, we pray. We pray, Father God, that we may be able, O oh God, to share our resources, O oh God, sa poor, sa needy, sa mga victims, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's not yet late that we be able, O oh God, to change our minds and turn back to you. Lord, I pray. It's just a very short message, O God. I just pray, just like the woman with the lost coin, giving her best, the effort, Lord, just to find. Same thing, Lord. As you said, I tell you, that they will be rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God for one sinner who repent. So many lost coins outside, Lord. They needed to be found. They needed to be rescued. And we're just looking, Lord, standing, watching, as if we can't do anything. Yes, we can do it, Father God. I just pray that you break our hearts, Lord, to what break yours. Break our hearts, O oh God. Let not our hearts be hardened, Lord, for the things of this world. But break our hearts that we may be able to reach out to oh God. That we may be able to pray for somebody who are in need, Lord. Maybe this person, oh God, will just silent, but Lord, deep inside, Lord, they wanted somebody to pray for him, to listen to them. I pray, Father God, break our hearts, oh Lord. Break our hearts, oh God. Oh, Lord, the ruler of this world has blinded the minds of the people in this earth, oh God. Open our eyes, Lord. Let us see, Lord. Help us to see the things that you wanted us to see. Oh, I just pray blessings, oh God, to those who are here. At the able of God to think about the wise man, the lost coin, the precious gift that the dead wife gave to her husband. Jesus, Lord, Jesus, seeking for the lost sheep, leaving the 99, and Lord, spending time to reach out that one lost sheep we were once lost father god and you found us because you gave your life for us you are the reason for this season you no longer lord remain a child a baby in a manger but lord you have resurrected oh god and you promised to come back you promise to come back, Lord, to take those who follow, those who listen to you and obey you, God. So I pray, Father God, oh, by your grace, be merciful to us. Be merciful, O oh God. I know you're speaking, Lord. You're speaking to, to us right now. Perhaps some pastors can stand in front. Wanted to be prayed for. You wanted to be prayed for.
think about Jesus this Christmas. Don't think about the gifts that you receive, but think of Jesus as a precious gift to us. Yes, let's continue. Let's enjoy the presence of God. Yes, Lord. Everything I am for your kingdom is come. Yes. As I walk from birth into eternity. Break my heart, Lord. Break my heart for a break you. Maybe you're maybe you're tired of chasing your dreams. Everything I am. But God for your has his best dream planned for you. As I walk you don't need to surrender your profession. But you can use your profession to reach out lost souls. Use your profession. Wherever you are, use it for the glory of God. I'm not asking you to leave your, your profession, but use it. Use it. Be a light. Be a salt. Be a blessing to your workplace. Be a blessing to your community. Be a blessing to your homes. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, break my heart for what breaks yours. Yes, Lord. And everything I am for your kingdom's yes. cause. As I walk from earth into eternity yes lord i just once again speak blessing lord especially lord to Jose, to this young generation father god Jose, they've been seeking for so many things in their lives Jose, no, in the but what they need is just around the corner Jose, what this generation needs is Jesus. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, the Joy Giver, the Way Maker. Thank you, Lord. I just bless BCI, Lord. I just bless, Lord. Even sa aming pag transfer, oh God. Lord, we pray. Not just multiply the numbers of God, but to multiply, Lord, the characters that is in us, Lord. So we pray. We pray. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. <laughs>